Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about the concept of insertion and extraction operator in C++. In C++, insertion operator is used for output and extraction operator is used for input. An insertion operator always used with C out. C out is the object of O stream class. And the extraction operator always used for input. Extraction operator always used with C in. C in is the object of I stream class. In C++, the operator greater than greater than is called the insertion operator because it insert the characters into a stream and the operator less than less than is called an extraction operator because it extract character from a string. Now if we write the statement like scene extraction operator and then name of the object. Now in this statement the extraction operator having two operand. The first operand is scene that is the object of I stream class, input stream class. And the other operand is the object of a class. We have a class ABC. An ABC class having the object OBG. OBG is the object of class that receive the input value. Therefore, the second argument passed to an overloaded operator function must be a call by reference parameter. The main purpose of this statement is, is to accept an input from a keyboard. When this statement is executed, it call the operator extraction operator and then the value returned by this function is an object of an input string now c out insertion operator and hello this is an overloaded statement that overload the operator less than less than that is an insertion operator this operator also having two operand c out c out is the object of output stream class the second operand may be either a string or a variable or a number and the main purpose of this statement is to print the string hello onto the screen and when this statement is executed it call the overloaded operator less than less than insertion operator the value returned by this function is an object of the output stream class o stream class let's see the complete code of insertion and extraction operator overloading first of all we have a class complex and complex class having two private data member int r and i r is the data member for real part and i is the data member for imaginary part then define one public constructor now after that define the insertion operator function and extraction operator function 
in case of insertion and extraction operator overloading c out is an object of o stream class and c in is an object of i stream class and insertion operator and extraction operator must be overloaded as a global function and if we want to allow them to assess private data member of a class then we must make them as a friend and friend function is a non member function of a class declare inside the class with friend keyword and define outside the class without using a friend keyword first of all define the insertion operator function then define the extraction operator function how to define friend keyword then a return type for insertion operator return type is o string c out is the object of o string class and insertion operator always use with c out the symbol ampersand at the end of the name of the string represent that the operator function returns a reference that is it return an object of a string rather than returning the value of a string itself then operator keyword then operator symbol then passing objects name of the class o string and ampersand o is the object then name of the class then ampersand name of the object then define extraction operator function similarly define the extraction now scene is the object of i string class and present then operator keyword then operator symbol scene is the object of i string class Similarly, define the extraction operator function. Class body and with the closing curly braces. Then outside the class, define the operator function. O string is the name of the class c out is the object of o stream class ampersand then operator keyword operator symbol now o is the object of o stream class first of all display the real part after that display the imaginary part
first of all display the real part then display the imaginary part c dot r is for real part and c dot i is for imaginary part then finally return o o is the object of o string class then define the abstraction operator function scene is the object of i stream class ampersand then operator keyword then operator symbol abstraction operator symbol then object of i stream class and object of complex class with insertion operator display the real part and imaginary part with extraction operator input the real part and imaginary part first of all we'll see how to display the messages input real part then with i i is the object of i stream class i is already defined as a data member to change the name of the object first of all input the real part c dot r then with c out display the message input imaginary part now in in is the object of i stream class input the imaginary part c dot i now in this case the name of class is i stream then return the object of i stream class that is in in case of o stream object is o then o stream class return object o now inside the main function first of all create the object of class complex complex c1 c1 is a object of complex class with c in input the complex number now with the help of operator overloading we can perform operation on user defined type now in this case c1 is a object of type complex class to so see in extraction operator then name of the object extraction operator call similarly with c out insertion operator c1 c out insertion operator c1 now in this case insertion operator call after the execution of this code first of all input real part c in c1 c in extraction operator extraction operator function call input real part then input imaginary part then after that c out insertion operator call then control transfer to the definition of insertion operator and 
in this case both the overloaded operator function return a stream and the symbol ampersand at the end of the name of the stream represent that the operator function return a reference that is it return an object of a stream rather than returning the value of a stream itself as we know that c out is the object of o stream class and c in is an object of i stream class and it is very important to make operator overloading function that is a friend of a class because it would be called without creating an object that is the operator must be overloaded as a global function to call insertion operator as well as extraction operator we must call it like as a scene extraction operator name of the object for extraction operator and for insertion operator c out insertion operator and the name of the object and these operators are overloaded as a global function with two parameters the first parameter is the object of o stream class and i stream class and the second parameter is the object of user defined type this is all about the overloading of insertion and extraction operator in c++